So I was really, really fortunate, I think, when I think back, um, a family trip to Cleveland, Ohio when I was 11. Uh, my mother's sister lives there, and my dad's relations live in Cleveland. So we were going on a family trip to see them and we got to visit NASA. And I grew up in Balna, County Mayo, and really visiting something like that at that age was amazing. Uh, it was my first time on an airplane, <laughs> uh, my first time to the United States, so it was a big deal in uh, that stage of my life, I guess. So, you know, I think it was definitely the trigger point to see what was out there in the world, something very different from what I had seen before. Um, and then as I progressed throughout my teenage years, I was able to go back to NASA a number of more times um, to keep that interest alive. Um, so yeah, it's been really, you know, I, I often say to parents, that's why it's so important to expose kids to lots of different things because I'm the youngest of five and I was the only one to take that interest in space. Uh, from this trip. So you never really know what's going to be the trigger point uh, yeah. at that age. For me anyway, personally, experience and education go hand in hand. Um, even when I look back at my own career over the past 10-15 years, uh, merging education and experience is so important. Um, when I was doing my undergraduate uh, in aeronautical engineering, I got to go to work in Boeing in Seattle um, and you get invaluable experience from actually being in an industry or you know whatever your work experience is um, and merging that educational side with hands-on experience I think it's it, for me anyway it's been essential we're all learning as we grow as we get older as we experience different things as we make different decisions and um, so I think that's been all relative to me I don't look back and think that was the worst decision or, you know, uh, I think you make decisions at times based on the information you have at the time and um, also based on your own experience. So I think the more you're out there, the more you're meeting people, the more you're growing yourself and um, the better able you are to make decisions in the future because um, you might have experienced something similar in the past. Um, so life experience will feed into that. I often think when I was a child, I looked at my mother and I used to say, mom, when I grow up, I want to have my hair like you and I want to be like you um, because she's such a source of love and that at that time in your life. So I think no more than everything else, as you progress and as you move forward in your career, inspiration changes because we all have different goals, I guess, um, and we all have different values of what we value and what we want from our lives. So I think as you progress throughout your career, inspiration will be taken from different experiences, different people. The best advice I ever got, I've got lots of, lots of different good advice over the years. Um, something that sticks in my head though, my mother said to me a few years ago, Nora, you can't have everything all at once and I often think of that because I used to get very frustrated at times thinking I should be moving faster with what I'm doing or I'm not on the right path to where I want to be going and uh, she's absolutely right you know you have to kind of balance what you're doing that's taken me years and I'm still working on that and um, so I think that that piece of advice you know you you don't have to be going a million miles an hour all the time um, and you gotta prioritize different things at certain points in your life so that is something I think me uh, and everybody can work on all the time like no matter what age you are what stage you are at and um, that is something I want to work on uh, more the advice I wished I received was probably something my sister said to me very recently. She said, Nora, you should really be as kind and compassionate to yourself as you are to your best friend. And I thought, that's so true. Uh, I'm often very hard on myself. Even my friends would say, Nora, would you give yourself a break? Like, you're doing great. Um, I'm often very hard on myself and think I should be achieving more or doing more. Um, so that's something I think if 
we're all a bit more mindful of that from an early age. You know, be kind to yourself. Um, think of yourself like your best friend and how would you treat them? Um, I think that's very important. So in terms of having a space career, um, there's never been a better time to get involved. The industry is like a flower that's just about to open. There's loads of opportunities. So in terms of advice, I would say uh, find a mentor. Uh, find somebody who's going to be a positive influence, who can give you guidance. Be mindful of people's time. Um, if people are giving you time, be thankful of that. Um, and get out there, get out there and meet people. Uh, look for the opportunities because I think I've been pushing this career for myself for the past 20 years, but I look at where it's at now and I just feel like there are so many opportunities. So it's really up to that person to decide what they want to do, where they want to go, and get out there and look for those opportunities. <laughs> if that was like, I, I often get asked that, like in terms of careers and what I would have done. Like, I think if there was like a, you know, dream job, fun, fun job that you could do, I think I'd love to do race car driving. <laughs> oh yeah, three Desert Island beauty items. So I would say sun cream, I um, try never get burned. Uh, I would say my La Roche Posay face wash and a good moisturizer. Yeah. <laughs>